consider the earth to be a sphere of radius r let this be the earth let o be its center and r be its radius take radius here let there be a mass m placed on its surface let us assume the mass of the earth to be capital m and we know the entire mass of the earth is concentrated at, at its center so there will always be a gravitational force equal to f is equal to g m m by r square between these two masses we know this mass which means the entire mass of the earth is concentrated at the point o and the distance between these two masses is r so definitely the force between them is g m m by r square by newton's gravitational law of attraction but you also know the direction of the mass or direction of the force will always do or is always towards its center like this and we know the force exerted by the earth on any mass m is its weight so this force is also equal to weight we, and we know weight is always equal to mass into gravity so both these represents force and they are equal which means g m m by r square is equal to mg cancel these masses you will get g is equal to g m divided by r square that's the expression for gravity gravity on the surface now we want to know what is the gravity at a depth d from the surface of the earth again consider the earth to be a sphere of radius r and let m be its mass suppose there is a point a at a depth d at a depth d below the surface of the earth and we just placed a mass m there let's draw a circle i mean the sphere through this mass with center as o it will be like this and we know the distance from o to a let's call this point a the distance from o to a will always be the radius of the earth now let's call this point b because we already took the point a that is the distance from o to b will always be r and ab is equal to depth d then what what is the distance oa 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 will be the entire mass not 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 the entire mass the entire length ob is oa is equal to ob minus ab which is equal to ob is radius r r minus t so this length oa is equal to r minus t r minus t now we have the gravity at the surface g is equal to g m divided by r square this is the expression for gravity on the surface and we have mass is equal to mass of the earth is equal to volume into density volume into density let us assume the earth to be a uniform sphere with uniform density so mass is equal to since it is a sphere we have its volume 4 by 3 pi r cube times rho so that that will be our mass 
call this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. Substituting 2 in 1, you will get g is equal to g instead of m, you can write 4 by 3 pi r cube rho divided by r square. Cancel this r square and r square here, leaving they leave only a r here. So g is equal to 4 g pi 4 g pi r rho divided by 3. This is our expression for gravity at the surface. Call this as equation number 3. Now we have, now we want to know what is the gravity at the point A. And we know only the mass inside this red circle or inside this red sphere contribute to the gravity at the point A. Since all the all the surface, all the region is outside, all the regions outside A won't contribute. So the mass, the mass inside the circle inside this not not so circle inside the small sphere is equal to again mass is volume into density so volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi here the radius is just r minus t r minus t whole cube times density is rho so let's call this mass as m m dash so the gravity at the point a due to the region inside the red sphere or due to the earth inside this red sphere is equal to g is equal to g call this as gravity at depth gv g m dash divided by r minus d whole square therefore it is equal to g m dash since the radius is r minus d the distance from o to a this is equal to g into m dash is equal to 4 by 3 pi r minus d whole cube rho divided by r minus t whole square you can cancel an r minus t square here and an r minus t here therefore gd equal to 4 pi g r minus t rho whole divided by 3 just call that as equation number 4 now what you get when you divide 4 with 1 This will be equation number 4 divided by equation number 3. This will be on the left side you get gd by g is equal to 4 pi g r minus d times rho divided by 3 divided by 4 4 g pi r rho divided by 3. Cancel these threes and also the 4, the entire 4 pi g and also the r. So gd by g will be r minus d divided by r. This is equal to gd is equal to g into taking this g to the right you can write this as r by r minus d by r which means gd is equal to gravity at a depth g gravity at a depth d is equal to g times 1 minus d by r 
So that's the expression for gravity at a depth. Now what will happen if depth is equal to radius of the earth? Or we just want to know what is the gravity at the center of the earth. And that, that's just a special case of this. Which means when d equal to r, when depth, e depth becomes equal to the radius of the earth, we will reach the point O. So gravity at the depth will be, we can substitute here d r for d here and if the equation becomes g times 1 minus r by r. This will be g times 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0. So gravity at the depth is equal to 0. Which means there is no gravity at the center of the earth. 